the world was created in such a fashion that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us a uh, certain system of how he runs the world. And he said that this world, the Gemara says it in Masechet Shabbat, and I believe in a few other places, that this world will exist for 6,000 years. Just like this is the 7,000 world, this is the last of the worlds that Hashem created. Hashem created other worlds before this. We don't have very much knowledge about what those worlds and what happened in those worlds, but nonetheless, this is the last of the worlds. And this world will exist for a total of 7,000 years, but the, the last thousand, from 6,000 to 7,000, will be the days of Mashiach, where the Mashiach is actually already here, ruling the world, and so on. Complete peace, no war, and so on. But this world, if you will, will exist for a maximum of 6,000 years. Now, so people think that that means that Mashiach is going to come at, six, at the year 6,000. Wrong. Why is it wrong? Because the sages teach us in the Gemara and many other places that the Mashiach will come before Shabbat. So what does that mean? It's not before Shabbat the day, rather before Shabbat the year. So we know from Tehilim that David Melech tells us that every thousand years is considered a day in the eyes of Hashem. So first thousand, we're at 57, 80. So the first thousand of five thousand... That's Sunday. Yom Rishon, that's how the week starts. Second thousand, Monday. Third thousand, Tuesday. Fourth thousand, Wednesday. Five thousand, we've completed Thursday. Right? That's the first five thousand. But then we have 780. Now 750, 750 is three quarters of a thousand. So that means that we are three quarters of the 24 hours, which is the 18th hour. That's already 6 p.m. on Friday. 6 p.m. on Friday, plus there's some change. It's 7.50, but it's 7.80 right now. So every 41 years is an hour. So right now we are almost at 7 p.m. on Friday. And the Chachamim tell us that the Mashiach has to come before Shabbat. So the year 6,000 is already far into Shabbat. Because Shabbat doesn't start at, a, uh, at midnight. You know, day starts at, you know, at 12.01 a.m. Shabbat doesn't start at midnight. Shabbat starts, you know, 7, 7.30. Throughout the year, changes a little bit. Sometimes as early as 4 o'clock. Sometimes as late as, let's say, 8.30. But nonetheless, on the average, it's around 7. Meaning that, <coughs> ototo is coming. He's coming. Right? It's almost Shabbat. So, the mistake that people make is they think that the Mashiach will come at the year 6,000. That's a mistake. The, the, uh, the issue is that the world itself will exist for 6,000 years in this capacity and then change form, if you will, for the last 1,000 years. This time is the days of Mashiach, where we are in the stage, final stages before the war of Gog and Magog will start and get to the, uh, it already started, but get to the culmination point, which is the final stage that uh, the Gaumi Vilna says will last nine minutes. Somebody says 11, but either way, everybody knows it's a very small amount of time. Where two-thirds of the world are going to die, according to the prophecy by Zechariah in chapter 14. Uh, and uh, then the, uh, during that time, of a, uh, Mashiach is going to come. And uh, the, uh, some part of the th last third that's left in the world will survive. Not all of them, but some parts of them will survive. So all of that is going to happen over a period of time. After this war is completed, there's going to be seven years that it's going to take to bury all the bodies. And 40 years after Mashiach comes, there's going to be the resurrection of the dead. All of the tzaddikim that have ever lived will be resurrected 40 years after Mashiach comes. So there's going to be certain things that happen. Now, this is all going to happen soon. It's not going to happen at the year 6,000. It's going to be before that. So, but some people think that it's the year 6,000 because of what I just explained, which they mistake and misunderstand that the existence of this world in its current nature will last that long. But once we get to that 7,000 year, the nature of the world, if you will, will change to some extent. 
even though the Rambam writes that there's still going to be basic ways of the world that remain, there is going to be a different nature to the world also. So it's going to be a uh, some parts the same, some parts very, very, very different. But nonetheless, there's not going to be any more Yetzirah in the last thousand years. So it's going to be a quite, quite a different world. Bezot Hashem, we will live to see it.